Hi, this is Ali Arango of LittleGuyCGI.com, and today I want to show you how to put clothes on a mesh that already has a rig in it. So let's get started. Okay, if this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, go to Input, and then choose Select with left click. Blender's default select is with right click, and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe or other 3D programs. Okay, what you see here is a female mesh that I modeled a while ago. You also see a form-fitting shirt right here, and then a fairly loose hoodie right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the outliner window. I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to uh, put a check in with this eye, which allows you to see my armature. So now what I'm going to do is select onto the armature, go to pose mode. I'm going to hold my middle mouse button and turn to the side. I'm going to actually click here to uh, activate this rotational gimbal and you can see that if I you know move the uh, gimbal so you can see it rotate you can see that you know there, there's a rig in here it's a basic rig but uh, you know this model is my, my purpose of bringing you here is to show you that the model has a rig in it so now I'm just going to press alt G and then alt R to make sure that there's nothing uh, put on there as far as a uh, uh, move translation or a rotate translation and uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click here go back to object mode I'm gonna click here to go back to uh, my move gimbal I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button and turn just slightly now I'm gonna click on the shirt and just move this over over top of uh, this model I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button just to take a look and uh, you can see right there there's an issue so I'm gonna pull back just slightly there we go So now it looks like the shirt is on a little bit right here or is it no I think I'm wrong okay I think I think it's good I sure it was a quick shirt okay so now that we have the shirt on you'll see that if I click on the armature it's a little bit hard now the shirts on if I click on the armature Go back to pose mode, click here to turn on the rotational gimbal, hold the middle mouse button to turn to the side, and try to rotate. You see she comes right out of that shirt. So I'm going to press Control Z to get her right back into position. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, take this rotational gimbal off just because I makes me feel better seeing the move translate on. I don't know, it's, it's almost like having a, a friend here. But anyway, I'm going to click here, go back to object mode. And what I'm going to show you is this very cool technique I learned from Allison Lennar. I had never seen anybody uh, do it before. And uh, basically, this is how it goes. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is make it uh, so we can't click on this actual mesh. So with this mesh selected, if we come over here, you go to the armature, you hit the plus here, you'll see that this main body is almost hidden under the the meta rig right because it's parented to the meta rig it's in the the hierarchy underneath the uh, meta rig so anyway the, these symbols right here this one if you click here this allows you to to, to see uh, the mesh if you click here this one allows you to not select the mesh so we're going to click here now with that selected what we're going to do is we're going to select the shirt you're going to hold shift and then you're going to select the armature all right okay and if you've seen some of my rigging tutorials uh b before you know that i i try to make it make you aware of exactly what mood you're in because it is very important you know depending on what you do it's important where you're which mode you're in so this is done in object mode and this is very similar how we would do a basic um you know parent to, to basically parent a mesh to an armature where it's a little bit different is we have for, okay first we selected the uh, the shirt then the, then we held shift we select the armature right then we hit control P right now this is where it's a little bit different instead of choosing uh, set parent to automatic weights we're gonna set parent to armature to form with empty groups okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to main body we're gonna click here so now that this main body is selectable again, we want to first select the main body, 
Then we're going to hold shift and while holding shift, we're going to select the shirt. Okay, so now that we first selected the main body and then held shift and then selected the shirt, what we're going to do now is go to weight paint mode. So we're going to click here and just select weight paint mode. Here in weight paint mode, you want to make sure you have tools selected, which is the first tab all the way to the left and uh, all the way up at the top. You're going to scroll down and uh, very simply, you're just going to select transfer weights. Your default options should be group all, method nearest face, and replace all. If for some reason these aren't the settings, just change them so that they are. Again, group is all, method is nearest face, and replace is all. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click here. We're going to go back to object mode. We're going to select our armature. Now we're going to click here and go to pose mode. I'm going to select here to uh, bring up our rotational gimbal and look at that. Pretty simple. You can see the shirt is uh, working well as far as being you know parented to this armature and working with the other mesh. Very cool and very simple. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to press uh, Alt-R just to make sure that that rotation is cleared out. And uh, this is where it really gets interesting, okay? We have the, we started off with the mesh that had an armature in it. Now we have this shirt that is on top of that mesh and it is also parented now to this armature. Now we've got this fairly loose hoodie, right? So I'm going to click here to go back to the uh, move translation. Uh, manipulator. I'm going to click and pull this over, right? I'm going to hold the middle mouse button. Okay, and it looks like it's on there fairly well. You can see this is pretty loose. And again, we have the original mesh, the shirt, and now we have, uh, you know, this fairly loose hoodie on top of our mesh. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pretty much go through, you know, some of the previous steps we went through before. So we'll select here. We'll uncheck this uh, arrow button, or I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but we'll uncheck this, which allows us to not be able to select uh, the main mesh. We'll select first the loose hoodie. Then we'll hold shift and we'll select the armature. And we're in uh, object mode. See how I jumped into to pose mode? So what we're going to do is click back to object mode. We're going to hit A to deselect everything. We're going to select the hoodie again. We're going to hold shift, and then we're going to select this armature again. So now you see that when we did it, we stayed in object mode, and that's what we want. Because we want this to be parented to this whole armature, not just a piece of the armature. So with that done, what we're going to do is we're going to press Control p and then we have our set parent to menu pop up. We're going to choose armature to form with empty groups. And when you see me move the mouse like I'm just, you can just click here. I'm just doing, my brain is making me like, okay, armature to form with empty group. This is it right here. So now I'm just left clicking right here. Okay, now with that done, what we're going to do is we're going to press A to deselect. We're going to go back to the main body just like we did before. We're going to click here. So now that this main by clicking there that makes the main body selectable just like before so first we're going to select the main body then we're going to hold shift and then while holding shift we're going to select this loose hoodie okay now with that done what we're going to do is click here we're going to go to weight paint and then we just want to make sure you're in your tools option you want to go down in the list and look for transfer weight select transfer weights Make sure that your settings are all group. It should be all. Method is nearest face. Replace should be all. And those are the default options. Uh, and then with that done, remember, all we did in here was we just clicked one thing. The only thing we clicked in here was transfer weights. There was nothing else other than that, okay? So I'm going to click here. Go back to object mode. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the armature. I had to get click twice to get to it but it's selected now so 
I'm gonna uh, the armature I'm talking about. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna go to pose mode. I'm gonna select right here. I'm gonna click here to bring up the rotational gimbal. And now you can see that. So uh, this technique is pretty cool. You can see even though this is fairly loose, you can see it's moving right with the uh, the armature. Pretty cool. And then even the you know we can rotate it, and you can see it's it's rotating there. So uh, pretty cool. Okay, with this technique, you can see that you can actually have multiple sets of clothing, and then you can take those uh, multiple sets of clothing and fairly easily attach those clothing sets to an already rigged character mesh. Very cool. Okay, and as I had said previously, I learned this technique from Allison Lennar's uh, YouTube channel, and I really like this technique. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel and reshare them, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. And to those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more, please subscribe. Also, on my YouTube homepage, I now have a support button. And if you would like to support this channel by a donation of any amount, it would be greatly appreciated. And as always, guys, thanks for viewing.